So analytics in the public sector is a huge topic at the moment, both for the UK and, and for many public sector organizations across the world. I would say not since the Second World War has the public sector faced such difficult structural and fiscal challenges. And what we find is that whereas in many cases people have made decisions based on, on very valid experience over the last 30 years, the decisions they now need to make are so profound and have such a big impact on, on the citizens and, and people that will benefit from these decisions that experience is not enough. What we're finding is people need to use data and evidence to make some of these hard decisions. And this is really where analytics can come in and, and make a big difference. We have a wide range of, of offerings in analytics, and they range from helping clients actually develop their own capabilities around using their data better, to providing insights around some of the data that clients have and helping them make better decisions with that data. So for example, in health, we are working with a number of health organizations, providing a managed service, which helps them understand how um, they're performing against their plan, how the quality of their services are, are, are being delivered, and also looking at what workforce needs they will have now and need in the future in order to be able to meet the increasing demands. In other areas, such as very large transport projects, we are helping them operationalize the way they look at um, the financials and the program controls around delivering these large programs, which enables them to make some very, very quick decisions on huge daily expenditures. And as you can imagine, being able to stop a particular part of the project or focus the attention somewhere else can, can make millions of pounds worth of difference to both the organization and the taxpayer. In other situations, for example, uh, in, in the education space, we have taken data from uh, education establishments and, 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 and public sector organizations and looked at whether the government's current policy is actually being supported by the data that we find in education and, for example, exam results and student outcomes. I think that every public sector leader should be looking at their organization and thinking about how they can use data and information to meet the challenges, be it providing better services or making some tough decisions around meeting the challenges of their organization. And I think the public sector is actually um, in a very good position to use not only its own data, but data published by other public sector organizations with, within a particular government space. If you look at the public sector, for example, here in the UK, they are leading worldwide, I would say, the transparency agenda and have published over 15,000 different data sets. And these data sets can provide invaluable insight, not only for the organizations that are producing them, but for other organizations within the public sector in the UK, for example. So I would say, you know, try and understand what challenges you're trying to meet. Have a look at what data you have within your own organization and what exists outside in, 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 in the terms of open data. And start creating this analytics journey that will turn you into an analytics-led, fact-led, high-performing organization. Thank you.